Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, as I end this trip, I look back and thank you for your presence in all that I experience. I ask you, Lord, to be present to all of us in a special way. I raise up to you tonight all our frontliners, especially the doctors, nurses, and health caregivers who are very vulnerable to contagion, the law and order officers who are implementing the necessary moves to control the transmission of the virus, the workers who risk and sacrifice to deliver the necessary basic services in different enterprises, supermarkets, drug stores, utility companies, communication, gas station, the media men, and women who keep us informed and entertained. Bless them, Lord. Protect them. Keep them and their families healthy and safe. Most of all, Lord, I pray for the marginalized who are very much affected and suffering because of this crisis. Inspire, inspire compassion and generosity in many to reach out to those in need and stand in solidarity with them. May we in the midst of this crisis discover our share humanity and together build your kingdom here on earth. It is the justice, the compassion and hope and the love of your kingdom that will make us overcome. Please protect and watch over my loved ones, myself, my family, my family and those people around us. I pray tonight for Russia and God our Father, who come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and abstaining the tide of its transmission. Guide the hand and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick and competence and compassion and of those government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We ask for your special providence and protection for the whole world and humanity. Our country and our people our families and our friends send your spirit to protect us from this virus and may Mary our blessed mother place over us her mantle of protection grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen, Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Our Lady of Fatima. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumso. Pray for us. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Santo Niño de Cebu. Have mercy on us. Divine Mercy. Have mercy on us. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail Amen. our life, our sweetness and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sight, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your rise of mercy towards us. And after this, our sigh, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus <coughs> of Clement. For loving, so sweet, virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy to the promises of Christ, Almighty and everlasting God. 
who by the cooperation of the Holy Spirit did prepare the body and soul of the gracious Mother Mary, grant that we who rejoice in her commemoration made by her loving intercession be delivered from present evil and from everlasting death through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Salamat po sa mga frontliners. Patuloy po kami ang magdadasal para sa inyo at saka para sa mga nagkasakit. And, ayun po. Uh, stay home and stay safe. God bless us all. Bye-bye.